most exciting uh, VR project or an AR project that you've worked on? One of the most exciting augmented reality projects that we've been a part of is augmented reality murals app called Electrofly. It's really focused around 3D art and making murals, graffiti art, traditional street art, actually come up off of the wall, pop out at you and be able to interact with this art. Recently, with the rise of NFTs and blockchain technology, we've been able to layer that NFT technology on top of these augmented reality murals. I think that's just a great example of like how these technologies can all come together to create these really fantastic experiences. Very cool. And how about on the VR side? Are there any projects that spring to mind? Yeah, so on the VR side, we recently built a virtual reality driving simulator in partnership with Dr. Randy Camaceres at Wayne State University. Dr. Camaceres is studying the effects of alcohol and marijuana on people's driving performance. So we built a fixed base driving simulator, very similar to a simulator that you would see at Dave & Buster's, you know, with a wheel and pedals and a motion simulator. Dr. Commissaris would have subjects come in and then actually take a drink and then perform a series of driving tests on this virtual reality driving simulator. And he was measuring their reaction time. And so he would have them come in and drink one beer, take a breathalyzer, do the driving test, and drink another beer, take a breathalyzer, do the driving test until the subject was blowing above a 0.08, the, the legal limit. So this is a great example of how you can use these technologies to do research. Quite frankly, it would be very, very dangerous to do in real life. So this is something you can simulate in VR using this fixed base driving simulator. And the subjects are actually getting drunk and actually getting high for science, of course. And so that's some pretty incredible research that uh, is coming out of Wayne State University.